Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Fuck Baladin coming at ya with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void! Today it's gonna be a High Masters game between Minovation and Days here on Pillars of Gold, the latter edition. Top right, it is a Red Terran player Minovation. And in the bottom left, we've got ourselves Days, a Blue Zerg player. Alright, so should be excellent. This was sent to me at falconpaladin at gmail.com with the subject of High Masters game. I do like to cast Masters games every once in a while because they're not quite as good as professionals, but they have the mechanics down. So, uh, you get some interesting games, right? Because you can do some unpredictable stuff at Masters at a high level. Unpredictable stuff at the pro level just doesn't work very often, and when it does, it's very rare, and... Anyway, I like Masters games, and if you clicked on this one, then I feel like you do as well. So 16, 18, 17 here from days. I'm guessing, but you know, just very first standard turn opening at this point. One racks expand, he's got the Borderlands skin on. Just makes it look all cartoony and cell shaded. And yeah, hit that like button if you're excited for a TVZ here on Pillars of Gold between two Masters level players. It's been a while. I feel like it's been a while since I've done a Masters game. Done some GM stuff recently, yeah. Fairly recently. Some Railgun games and whatnot, but definitely not, uh, not any of the Masters stuff for quite some time. SCB doing a good job scouting down to see. Was this a pool first to play? The answer is no. So what you do is you just come in. You see, is there a hatch here? Is it done? Great. Reaper, head on down. If there's a hatch here and it's not done, or not even close to being done, then it was a pool first play, and the Reaper needs to stay home and defend against the slowlings that are definitely coming this direction. Actually going for a bit of a greedier scout here. Okay, just checking. Is there a quick roach ward anywhere that I could find? No, great. Reaper, his name is Freddy. Freddy used to be a star of cinema, but one day when recording a movie, he got captured by hypersentient monkeys that put him in a Reaper suit because he apparently had offended their gods. New faction confirmed. Now he still thinks he is recording the movie, so he goes to attack the enemy unconsciously, unconscious of the danger and will never realize that he's here to get killed for the pure sake of delaying the enemy. Luckily for him, he had a lot of fun ripping apart these disgusting Zerg workers last scene where he unknowingly had the luck of surviving till his master surrendered because he is a bad reaper. <laughs> well, that's uh, an interesting backstory to be sure. Overlord safely makes it to this high ground. He's like, hey, if you want to kill me, just got to scan. Just got to throw down a scan instead of a mule, which you don't want to do. Ooh, sub three minute third base timing from innovation. Got a factory here as well. Excellent, excellent. Where's your third base timing? Zerg player, here it is. It's you. It's you who is the third base timer. And Kachow, indeed. Okay, so, so far we're really going for a pretty macro game. Third base is a little bit late for days, but not so late that I'm like freaking out about it or anything along those lines. Yeah, not a huge problem whatsoever. On the other side, Reaper's still alive, which is a good thing. Lings are chasing because they know that speed's finishing very soon. Just kidding, they're coming back. Well, I mean, <laughs> were they just not... They were not certain that speed was coming or something was happening there. Anyway, it's a Roach Horn on the way from Days, which I'm okay with Roach Horns against Terran. Again, early, especially if you're trying to deal with things like Hellbats or Hellions... They're very, very good. Small numbers of marines before they get their upgrades. Bad against marauders in general. Bad against siege tanks in general. Oversaturating this gas is a bit of a problem from days here. Come on, days. Come on, days. Figure out you're oversaturated on this gas, and I will feel better about your chances of winning this game. Hey, I was, I was told this is high masters. Come on, let's go. Overlord has to get out of there, thanks to... Oh, there's a Viking. Okay, so it's a dead Overlord now. Hellions poking, but not really accomplishing anything. Eight Roaches on the way, so I mean, their ability to get any harassment done is pretty much over at this point. Tank is on the way from Innovation. <laughs> it sounds like I'm saying from Innovation, doesn't it? And he's also getting Stim. Pumping out three SCVs at a time. Worker count looking pretty healthy for sub-five minutes in this match. 
Uh, ravagers being made. So five Ravagers indicates we're probably planning on being aggressive. If I had to guess what this plan is. It looks like a bit of a... A bit of a two and a half base Roach Ravager style attack. But, okay, so we're walling off at home. Got a Siege Tank in a position that's really, really hard for Ravagers to hit from all the way here, right? They need to come all the way up the ramp, I think, to, to buy all that location. The Lings aren't going to do much. Yeah. I mean, they can absorb some shots that otherwise would go to Ravagers. Oh, the bunker dies. Okay, the second bunker sort of filled. Got one Marine inside it. The other, get inside the bunkers, friends. Never mind, the bunker was a death trap the whole time. Don't go inside the bunker. Genius. So, this one tank's doing a great job, honestly. Crucible the tank. Oh, Crucible this tank. Kill this one with wings. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is not looking good all of a sudden for Minovation. Both tanks are dead. SCV's taking some serious hits, but... Okay, alright, SCV's doing some DPS here. Cross a file. Ooh, decent hits, actually, surprisingly. And again, that's kind of what High Masters is all about, right? You're just making little mistakes to prevent you from getting into GM too quickly. Although, you know, with practice comes that GM rank eventually. Okay, more lings are showing up here. But the trick here is that there are only 37 workers back home for days. So I think, yeah, as long as Minovation doesn't lose too many SCVs here, his third base is fine. Dude, okay, hang on. There's just Lings flooding in here. I don't know how I feel about this from days. He feels like he's got this thing won, but basically, I don't agree. Rosa Bile takes down the Siege Tank. Beautifully done there. The fact that there's not a wall here is a big problem. The Lings are now eating up those SCVs. Number one, I was locked. As long as it doesn't lose too many SCVs. I remember saying that for sure. Lings come in here and assist against these Marines. The Ravagers are in trouble. Oh, they are in trouble. Ravagers are a little bit squishier than Roaches are. Roaches do much better against Marines. Again, in these smaller numbers. All that mule dies. Minovations dropped down to 26 workers. But it looks like the aggression is over. These overlords had a bad rally, but they're going to spread out now. Uh, Days is droning up a little bit. He's up to 40, oh, 47 to 25 workers here is not good. It is really, really bad for Days. I know he killed, uh, rather, for innovation, Minovation. Because workers lost is 32 to 0. I mean, Days sacrificed a lot of drones to make that attack happen. The fact that Minovation didn't lose his natural base, and he's got a third base rolling. He can replace these SCVs pretty quickly, all things considered. Days is making a fourth base, which I can really support. But are you one of these players that has a pretty darn good Roach Ravager attack at about six minutes? Or are you someone who can follow this up with something better? All right, some kind of a follow-up to take advantage of your economic situation. He's getting a Spire, which I don't know how I feel about Spire when your opponent is really pumping Marines here. Like, really just pumping Marines. I feel like a Baneling Nest would have been a better answer. I like this move out from Innovation, too. He's just like, look, I can't sit back and expect to win this game after taking that much economic damage. I gotta get out there and accomplish something. So he's gonna give it a shot. He's gonna head on down with his Marines. He doesn't have the greatest upgrades. He's got 1-1 one, one in Stim, which is fine. He doesn't have... It doesn't, combat Shield is finishing... So that'll be good. And if Days literally only has 18 links. Oh, he's got 8 Bane links too, though. Okay, suddenly we're okay. So Creep Tumors die, uh, but this base is not going to go down. Too many links. The Bane links are slow, but if the links can kind of prevent the Marines from running, which they can do. All right, so Zergling's at this third base. Zergling at this third base, really working hard. At taking it down, it's not going to happen, little Zergling. Your dreams, your dreams are not to be had. Bainling's speed is almost done. No way, he gets the space. The transfuse on the hatch is beautiful. Mm, it's just not enough marines to really do this. Great positioning. Honestly, really pretty good positioning there. But yeah, the queen's getting free shots on those medivacs means they don't want to stick around any longer. And the attack on the fourth base is shut down. Maybe an attack on the third base coming in. Uh, accidentally killing a tank. I really don't think Days knew that that was there. But enough Marines are present. Got to back on out. So he's making the Mutalisks. He's done the transition. 
But once again, Minovation is just pumping Marines. Five Marines at a time right now. It is a good number of Marines. Working on 2-2. Two, two. He's got that combat shield we mentioned previously. He's marching up to the edge of the creep. Not going any further, but guess what? Baneling speed is done. There's 13 of them. There's also five Mutalisks. So this is a nice little attack. He, oh, if the reaction time is not quite fast enough. Okay, it's barely fast enough. And this is where, do you want to, okay, I guess you do. I was like, do you want to go for this? The answer is you pretty much do. Hang on, hang on. Are you out of lings? You out of bane lings? Because this is, this is a small group of marines, but they pack a pretty big punch. You don't have any of that splash damage to deal with them. Dude, this base is not mining, and it's probably dead. Look at this. Minovation working so hard to finish off that 6 o'clock base. Mm. Beautifully done. Finally getting it. The culmination of all of his efforts. The reward has arrived. Day's expanding left side here to try to make up for that. But uh, Minovation just going for a ton of Marines. Uh, I love this. I love the picking off the Marines as they're wandering across the map one by one. It's just like, look, if you want to reinforce, you got to use a little bit of APM. You can't just set your rally point on the other side of the map and get away with it, you know? Oh, this is this is really good, actually. Dude, shutting down this third base entirely. Forcing Minovation's entirely ar entire army back home. I mean, re-expanding here for days would not be a bad idea. He's got about 1,700 minerals. He could afford it. But yeah, the Muta's escaping out of there. Baneling's not able to run, unfortunately. Uh, big old, wow, big old huge SCV transfer. Maybe that wasn't... Maybe that wasn't the destruction of all the SCVs at this base. Maybe he retreated. He did. He pulled them out there or hadn't transferred them yet. Either way, works out pretty well for him. Creep spread a little bit anemic out of days, but he's making more banelings. He's getting 2-2. Two 2-2's -two. Two -two's actually wrapping up right now for his guys, for his lings and his banelings and stuff. But this is another dead hatch. Again, Minovation attacking multiple places at once. And Day's reaction time is just not quite good enough to save that hatch. Muta's in here at the third base. Suddenly, real aggressive Muta play here. Nope. There you go. Get on out. Get on out of there. There is one missile turret in that mineral line in the main. I feel like that could be taken down by this number of Mutalisks. But, you know. Days decides not to go for it. Overseer doesn't have speed yet. So, he can't run very well, but he ran well enough to make it out of there. He's gonna, this turret's gonna finish and kill him, though, I think. Maybe? I don't know. Alright, so this left side group does get killed. Ganging off creep, though? Not ideal. Like, you definitely don't want to engage off of creep if you can help it. Dude, that overseer disappeared. It didn't die, it disappeared. Lings, Bane Lings, Mutalisks, though. I don't know about doing this without any Widow Mines from Innovation. It is a lot of marine production. But, you know, if your marine production is good enough and the Baneling connections aren't good enough, sometimes Mass Marine can actually do this. Especially, again, at the lower level. Like, this is not something that we would see a higher level Terran be able to get away with in most situations. Oop, accidental Swarm Host production. Uh, just Marines alone are not going to be enough. Like, eventually the Zerg player would tech into Ultralisks. And the mass marines would just get destroyed. But we are actually making Widow Mines now. Okay. With Drilling Claws. So, Innovation has an eye to the future. He's not simply just making marines and medevacs and trying to win the game. Uh, again, he's got 3-3 three, three on the way, which is great. He's uh, up to 67 workers, which is even better. This Planetary Fortress at the third is beautiful. Turret finishes, but guess what? There's enough Mutalisks. It doesn't matter, friends. So a lot more SCVs are dying. This group of marines is not enough to save the planetary. Definitely not. Minovation has to decide what he's doing. He's like, okay, am I going to try to come back home and save this? Or am I just going to get attacked at the edge of the creep by the Zerg player here? And once again, a lot of stuff died. Not everything, though, to do that planetary went down. This is a good game. This is some really nice back and forth. Bases are dying from both players. Overseer gets focused a little bit and denial... On the plus three armor infantry upgrade. That's brutal. And Minovation has dropped down to three total bases. Mm, plus three ground carapace getting started. Adrenal glands on the way for the Zerg. I don't see an Ultralisk cavern. He doesn't have a lot of minerals for that. Unfortunately, he's also killing so many SCVs. 
55 SCDs have died today. And the mutas generally get out of there. I mean, how many of them have died today? Six. Six of them have gone down, so that's pretty good. Pretty good from Dave's. He's got a uh, 20... No, wait, hold on. Boop. 20. He's lost six. Decent ratio. Another attack coming down here from Minovation. That is so many banelings, though. Okay, let's just pick up. Some guys didn't get the evacuation order, unfortunately. Or, you know... The evacuation that they wanted. They heard the order, they tried, it didn't work out. Minovation right side base. <gasps> is he sneaking this? He's sneaking this. Days doesn't know that it exists. Problematic. Meanwhile, this base is gonna die again. There's not enough Zerg in the general area to handle that. These mutas are just going toe to toe with Marines. Not recommended action, but hey, sure. Uh, the repair on the turret is not enough and more SCVs will die as a result. I think Daze believes he has this game won because he doesn't know about this base. He thinks he's got Minovation stuck on two bases. Inaccurate. Inaccurate statement, though. Adrenal Glands is not done. I feel like these last couple engagements would have gone better for these Zerglings if they had the Adrenal Glands. He's going to accidentally scout this. Oh, he says. Huh. Oh, oh, he's going home. He's going home. Look at these Marines, though. They're putting in work. They're putting in all of the work. No, the Mutalisks! Carelessly flying overhead. Honestly, the Mutas probably should have stayed back here and killed these SCVs. I think that would have been a better use of their talents rather than flying home, flying over the Marine Ball and losing like three Mutalisks in the process. Not what you want to do. He's like, hang on, can I get a, can I get a retry on that? So he's got 2,000 gas. He could afford a few ultras. I'm just saying. Uh-oh. Suddenly, it's 91 to 42 army supply. Suddenly, Minovation has made a perfect comeback in this game. Largely on the back of Marines. Okay, he's got the Widow Mines now, though. That's a hit. That is a hit on a huge group of Banelings. That might be what Minovation needed to break through in this game. The fact that he has triple the army supply of the Zerg uh, is also useful in this situation. Lings killing more SCVs. Minovation might just win this game after losing like a hundred SCVs, which not something you see all the time. It's just not enough. Like these Banelings are gonna make some really nice connections, but the Widow Mine, the Widow Mine doing work. 88 SCVs have died from Minovation in this game. Another accidental swarm host. At least pop your locusts, buddy. Yeah, I mean, lings are nice and all, and they're gonna kill a bunch of marines. They're just outnumbered. It's like a one-to-one -one ratio. I think we're gonna get to 100 at SCVs in this game. We're working really hard at getting 100 at SCVs in this game. And we're at 95. 95 is good. The mutas! And that's your GG! Minovation is your winner. Yeah, wipes out this base. Days is down to two bases. The picking around the edges, just consistently fantastic there. Out of innovation. Really, really, really well done stuff. Uh, <laughs> these, these mutalisks, man. Four kills and seven kills. And innovation loses 96 SCVs and wins the game. Holy smokes. That was an amazing, amazing TVZ. Really well done there, Minovation. <laughs> oh, wow. 195 Marines died today. Exactly 20,000 to 30,000 resources lost. Or player lost more, obviously. Killed five hatcheries. Uh, didn't lose a single... Oh, lost one planetary at the 12 o'clock. I forgot about that one. Did kill it. But yeah, Minovation, just kind of a typical Zerg. Just overcommitted to that attack at the natural base a little bit too long. Uh, and wasn't able to tech into anything but Lings, Banelings, and Mutalisks. Which, with the Widow Mines, that was not going to be enough. You really want to get the Ultras out at some point. He was mineral starved. He kept losing bases and losing drones and stuff. He lost 39 in the game. So that really kept him down, and Minovation just uh, able to get his bases up and running. Uh, mules can compensate for a lot of dead SCVs in general. And he rode that tide to victory.
All right. Well, that right there is going to be it for me today, then. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void and a Master's Level Game. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. You take care of yourself.